Good evening, everyone. This is Marty, K0MLG, Kilo Zero, Mike Lima Golf. I'm located near Wellington. I will be the net control station slash NCS for tonight's TechNet. The purpose of the net is to answer any questions or topics in a technical nature. And if you have any topics or questions, uh, please let me know when you check in. I'm not going to ramble on about what this net's about because we all pretty much know it. Um, are there any, uh, is there any priority or emergency traffic before we begin? Hearing none, are there any check-ins from Echolink tonight? Echolink only, please. Hearing none, I will take check-ins alpha through Mike, alpha through Mike. Just go slow, and I'll write them down as quick as I can. This is K0MLG taking check-ins for the TechNet for NCARC. Go ahead. This is N0EMP, November 0, Echo Mike Papa, Greg in Fort Collins, with Debbie, K0DBE, Kilo 0, Delta Bravo Echo. No traffic. Copy that. Greg and Debbie, any other check-ins for tonight? KF0GQH, Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Golf Quebec Hotel, Canton, Wellington, with Lorraine, KF0LAU, Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Lima Alpha Uniform. k 6 et Jim Loveland. All right, got you in there, Kent, Lorraine, and Jim. I'm just going to open it up, Alpha through Zulu. Alpha through Zulu, call now. KF0ODO. Foxtrot Zero, Oscar Delta Oscar. All right, hold up. Oscar Delta Oscar, what's your name and location? Uh, you fell out of the repeater. Say again. It's Craig in Windsor. Did I copy Craig? Roger. Okay. Yeah, you're a little bit fuzzy into the repeater. It sounds like you might be on an HD moving around. And move that. If you're on an HD well, whether you are or not, move that mic up a little closer. I got you in there, Craig, and, and appreciate it. Uh, go ahead, uh, next go around for check-ins. K0AZA, Victor, Victor, Bill, and Livermore. <laughs> that was a perfect double. Got Ron and Bill. Any any other check-ins? Go ahead. This is Romeo, Pinewood Reservoir. All right, got you in there, Eric. Was there another station? I'm kind of thinking that... Uh, Last-minute Christmas shopping is going on. Any other check-ins for tonight? KG6, OBC, Kilo Golf 6, Oscar, Bravo, Charlie, Justin, Mobile. This is KB0YDN. Uh, that W you heard with me was Rob, also at Pinewood Reservoir. Rob, was probably should give his call again. Whiskey Zero, Romeo, Charlie, Romeo, Pete, Pinewood Reservoir. Eric, did you say Rob? Because I'm pretty sure I heard Rob. You did, and I was wrong. Ah. Copy that. Any other check-ins? Please call now. Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Oscar Charlie Whiskey, Adrian in Fort Collins. This is in Zero NYY, November Zero, November Yankee Yankee. Bart and Evans, good evening all. This is... K3 SAD, Kilo 3 Sierra Alpha Delta, George K0 MLG, NCS for the TechNet. Keep them coming. Kilo Charlie, Justin Mobile. Yeah, I should acknowledge all you guys. I'm sorry. I got George, Bart, Adrian, Pete, Justin, Eric, Bill, Ron, Craig, Jim. Yeah, I got you in there, Justin. Anybody else? Got you in there, Brian. Anybody else? AE zero KO, Alpha Echo zero Kilo Oscar, Brad in Wellington. Got you in there, Brad. Any more check-ins for tonight? This is going to be the last TechNet for 2023. And instead of having technical mumbo jumbo, and let's just have some fun. I thought we would share uh, maybe some Christmas memories um, or Christmas traditions that you have. Uh, 
does anybody have anything that uh, they have done recently or they've been doing for 20, 30 years or they remember as a kid? I think it might be kind of fun with, uh, I'm, I'm definitely in the uh, Christmas spirit this year. Um, so does anybody have any Christmas memories they would like to share with us? Um, one can't be One tradition that I always have is we always go over to my aunt's house after um gifts at home for more gifts and waffles and OJ orange juice. We always do that every year. Oh, I like waffles and OJ. Anybody else? What do you think, Jim? Should we let the several hundred square miles know what's going on? Yeah, that is up to you if you want to or not. It doesn't matter to me either way. Okay, 6ET. Yeah, might as well get the word out. Uh, go ahead, Bart. And your last transmission was low in the audio. Is that any better? Yes, it is. The curse of my existence, RJ45 connectors. Uh, in the days and weeks, well, week or so, and days before Christmas, my wife gets to doing stuff in the kitchen. And I never know when I come home whether the house is going to smell like chocolate chip cookies, peanut brittle, pecan brittle, fudge, peanut butter fudge, some kind of bread. Oh, the ginger snaps this year are to die for. I never know what my house is going to smell like when I walk in the door, but it's always awesome. And zero in my life. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Bart. Um, the uh, and I imagine that goes back to your childhood too, because your your mom probably uh, cooked cookies, <laughs> cooked cookies. How about baked cookies, fresh bread, all that stuff. Good memories. Uh, does anybody have anything else to share, or do you have a technical question or an answer? Uh, yeah, I've got so much stuff going on in my brain right now. I'll explain to that in a minute. But does anybody have any uh, tech questions or any more Christmas stories? Is there any MP? KB0 idea. Greg, go ahead. Stand by. Uh, Eric. Yeah, last week, uh, Ken, N0KIN, was asking about a device to allow using an SDR receiver with the transceiver, and it was an antenna switch that would be relays powered by the PGT line. Um, he was on this repeater briefly yesterday, and um, I told him I'd try to track down something I had come across earlier, and I've done so. So um, I'll put it out to the group, but we'll see as uh, is Ken listening? I know he didn't check in, but uh, M zero K I N, are you listening? No, apparently not. Anyhow, uh, there is an MFJ product which was mentioned last week, but additionally, there is a member of the Front Range Six Meter Group that is uh, building them and selling them, and he has uh, boards professionally done. They look like a professional product and he's got the insertion loss measurements and everything else. Uh, his uh, his website for that is sdrswitch.com, sdrswitch.com. Basically this lets you connect your antenna to one port, your transceiver to another, and an, a separate SDR receiver to a third port and it switches uh, switches that SDR receiver out when you transmit so you don't cook it. And zero EMP. Copy that, Greg. Appreciate the info. Um, yeah, uh, I guess next time he, well, you can get a hold of him, I guess, next time he's on the air. Eric, go ahead. Well, I just thought, what about a fun tech story? Well, if you have a story to tell, I'm sure we'd like to hear it. Okay. Um, years and years ago, 15 years ago, as a matter of fact, 
I was working at a site with a lot of abandoned uh, electronics. Uh, think of drawers full of germanium transistors, spools of hookup wire, all sorts of things like that, a very, very early uh, And I decided this was a perfect place for me to do some uh, uh, quick prototyping of a power supply I wanted, or a power regulator I wanted to do, a voltage regulator. And it was real simple. It was just an LM317 controlling something, controlling something. And I was using the hookup wire from the, uh, the site. Um, and it was, board, it was done on a board with little uh, solder pads that you could pass through holes from components. And uh, let me let it drop. And um, uh, I used the hookup wire. And Oh, I connected everything correct, uh, correctly and um, uh, proceeded to try it out. And it went zot in a very spectacular flame ball. And it turned out that the hookup wire I was using was actually nichrome wire, not hookup wire. It was just there on another spool right next to all the others. KB0YDN, back to net. The story is, uh, moral of the story is, always check what your wire is really made of. Uh, thanks for the story, Eric. Anybody uh, have any other questions, comments, or a uh, favorite Christmas cookie recipe they would like to share, or a favorite memory? Tell India Mike, this is a cell, they check in, and I have a Christmas story. Okay, you're a little bit light into the repeater. Uh, give me your call sign and name and location again. Estelle India Mike, Estelle in Wellington. Estelle, I didn't catch your, I uh, still don't have your uh, call sign. I think you're talking before you uh, push the PTT. Zero Hotel India Mike, Estelle in Wellington. Is that better? Now, right when you first key up, we're not getting the first uh, part of your, uh, we're not getting the prefix to your call. Key on comment. As stand by. Go ahead, Estelle, and uh, key up for just a second, and then uh, give me your call. E zero Hotel India Mike. Yeah, it's really weird. The first, like we don't hear anything. It just really breaks up. Uh, but I know, he, hold on. What do you, uh, go ahead, Eric. I think she's got a bad connection in her mic. Uh, I heard whiskey zero. I would concur. Uh, go ahead with your story, Estelle. <laughs> no, uh, my ma my grandmother is from Ecuador and lives in Panama. And so uh, growing up, uh, we kids would always look forward to a very strange smelling package that would come at Christmas time. Um, with something in it for everyone, and it would be uh, just stuff from all over the world that came through the canal zone there in Panama. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. And I don't know what you got going on over there with your radio. Um, like, key up for five seconds, and then give me your call. I should know it, but I haven't heard you on the air for a while. Uh, yeah, do that. Do a five count, and then give me your call. Whiskey Zero Hotel India Mike Estelle in Wellington. Okay, are you on a Yezu radio by chance? We heard nothing from your from your response. If you're on a Yezu radio, it sounds like you have wires X turned on. Thank you, Patrick. will take care of it. Copy that. And I need to come over and visit with you guys anyway, so uh, uh, maybe later in the week, just have him call me or send me an email so we can get you guys straightened out. Um, any any other stories or comments for tonight? Well, I'll give you a little bit of tradition for me. Uh, I haven't done it for a long time. Um, I am a uh, Volga German, and Volga Germans... Uh, 
quite often had noodle soup and butter balls. And uh, that entails cooking the chicken, usually fresh slaughtered, and then pull the uh, boiled chicken after it's cooked out of the water, and then add uh, homemade noodles and butter balls. And if you're wondering what butter balls are, just go to Google and Google butter balls. They are high fat content breadcrumbs with allspice and a little bit of sweet cream to. Uh, <laughs> this is going to really get some people uh, raising their eyebrows to make the, the uh, mixture moist. After the noodles are cooked, you drop the butter balls in. The chicken, uh, in my family anyway, that was pulled out was uh, shredded or pulled rather and then uh, dredged in flour and then fried in uh, oil or butter and that was our traditional Christmas Eve dinner break but the coolest thing that I will announce tonight is I don't know how many of you knew that Larimer County Santa Cops had to dissolve um, because they didn't have warehouse space. And uh, I thought, man, there's a lot of kiddos that aren't going to have Christmas this year. So I formed, along with help from Jim K6ETE, Justin N0AOL, and another friend of mine that's uh, a non-ham at the moment, but I've been working on this project for just just a few weeks. Um, but let me say, I had a I had a toy drive Saturday night in my shop. We had probably 130, 40 people out here, toys like crazy, uh, French style brisket. Just it's just an amazing, amazing turnout. And since uh, Saturday night until just just this evening. We now have an EIN through the IRS. We have filed a uh, nonprofit status with the Secretary of State of Colorado, um, Jim K6ETE, with his uh, expertise, has created a logo. We are now official. We are NOCO Santa Squad. We are uh, officially a uh, an entity. We own several domain sites, uh, org.com, you think of it, we own it, and uh, I'm pretty proud of, of what I've done along with Jim's help and uh, Justin's help and um, school resource officer here in, in Wellington where I'm at. Um, Weldells has given me 100 Ten percent support. I went out on a uh, toy delivery uh, with Weldells last Saturday, a week ago Saturday, uh, with W zero B and C break. So this is going to be a huge thing. You guys are going to see it in the media. It's going to be blasted all over Facebook. We are going to take the place of Larimer County Santa Claus, and we're going to make it bigger and better. Um, I will be partnering with Colorado 4x4 Off-Road Recovery, another nonprofit. So when we have kiddos up in the hills or mountains, uh, we have equipment to get um, toys to them. It's just going to be an awesome organization. And uh, keep your ears to the rail because we're going to make this thing, uh, we're going to make it off the charts. Our websites aren't developed yet. We just own the domain names. Um, but we are official, like I said. So uh, does anybody have any questions or comments about that? All right. Well, any other tech questions or Christmas stories before I close out the net tonight? There ain't none. Thanks for listening. Everybody have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This is K0MLG Kilo Zero Mike Lee McGolf closing the net for December 18th, 2023 at 18.26 hours. The repeater is now open for normal use.
This presentation was brought to you by the Northern Colorado Amateur Radio Club. For more information, visit our website, ncarc.net. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.